Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I will be demonstrating how you can set up and configure Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. There are some prerequisites before we begin and the first one is that the user who will configure should either be a global administrator or could be an exchange admin. But in most scenarios a global administrator would be just fine. Next is the users who need to have Dynamics 365 app for Outlook must have an exchange online license assigned to them which is obvious and finally they should also be assigned a Dynamics 365 license so that they can track their emails, appointments, contacts and tasks into Dynamics 365. So let's dive into the configuration of the same. Let's say that CRM admin is the user who will be configuring Dynamics 365 app for Outlook for themselves and for other users make sure that this user has a global administrator role in Office 365. Also on the licensing front any user who wishes to use Dynamics 365 app for Outlook must have an E3 license or any other license that has Exchange Online service. Let's go to Dynamics 365 for the setup. Now as you can see I am in my Dynamics 365 environment. This should be the environment where the emails and appointments tasks should be tracked to. So I will go to email configuration from the settings and next I will go into the mailboxes. Now since I am doing this for my own admin user, I will select the CRM admin mailbox as you can see and I will open it up. The first task we will be doing is approving and email. right? So remember because I have given myself a global administrative access. I am able to approve my own mailbox. As you can see in this mailbox there are a couple of warnings and if you look at the second warning it says that the mailbox should be approved by an Office 365 global administrator. right? So that is the first thing I am going to do is approve this mailbox uh, for the email and I can see, click on the approve email button and give a confirmation. It takes a moment before the email address is approved and the page will refresh by itself and as you can see the message has disappeared meaning that the mailbox or the email address has been approved. I also want to enable appointments contacts and tasks to be tracked so I will enable that for server side sync as well and the final step that I will do is test and enable the mailbox. This message will imply that if this is configured for any other environment and if you check this the synchronization will work only for the current environment you are configuring for. So let me just click OK because this is the only environment I want the emails to be tracked to. Now I've clicked OK and that's it. Now I can close this dialog box and I can keep refreshing for a few moments and see that the test is running in the background and the incoming outgoing and appointments um, statuses are still in not run. Once the successful configuration has completed each of these status will either be a failure or a success. Fast forwarding this, um, let's see that I have got a success for the statuses incoming, outgoing and appointment. It does take a while since this is an asynchronous process. So there, now I can see that all the three statuses are set to success. The next step for me is to go to settings and Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. Because the next step is to enable this mailbox to use Dynamics 365 app for Outlook itself. Now as you can see that this should be either enabled for incoming and for ACT meaning accounts, contacts and tasks. So it's enabled for both. Now I just have to add this mailbox to the app. Meaning I will be adding the app for Outlook for this particular mailbox. It does take about 10 to 12 minutes based on the services running in the background for the activity to complete. So you can keep checking back and refreshing after some time. Again fast forwarding I will refresh and as you can see that this has been added to Outlook. Now the setup here is complete and the user within their mailbox they can open up any email as you can see on my screen a sample email has come and once I click on the three dots I would see Dynamics 365. I can simply click on it. It will authenticate for a while and once this is successful they will be seeing the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook itself and now they can start tracking their emails, appointments, tasks etc. 
before we close in case there are any authentication issues causing on the app please check once that the user has a Dynamics 365 app for Outlook user security role assigned to them. There are other combinations of configurations as well, but I hope I summarized this setup for you. Thank you for your time.